Get Bradley Cooper on the phone. Jake Lloyd needs a star. Jake Lloyd deserves an Oscar for Anakin Skywalker in The Phantom Menace. Get Bradley Cooper on the phone. We're looking at The Phantom Menace. Written and directed by George Lucas. An all-time epic a masterpiece. Yes, The Phantom Menace is an all-time epic masterpiece, both of, as a story and a myth, a fail or a tale, if you will, totally make-believe, and a text to be studied and, in many cases, revered, and perhaps followed according to one's own philosophy or sense of wanting it to be. There's a lot of politics in The Phantom Menace, and also a lot of philosophy and religion, if you will. Spiritual thinking, if you will. An all-time epic masterpiece. Visually ground-breaking special effects. Innovating and inventing. New and previously thought of as impossible. Ways and methods for doing things to make a movie. And now, because of George Lucas and the prequels, starting with The Phantom Menace, as Jar Jar is the key, as we will see, this has impacted and caused to be changed forever our modern culture as well as a civilized society. Everything from the Star Wars to the implementation of some of the tech only seen in the movies, starting with The Phantom Menace, and now is a reality in our own lives. Right, and we're witnessing this right now as you're hearing this. Through the miracle of Jar Jar, Jar Jar is the key. The prequels is the best Star Wars, and I am your host, Mr. The Prequels. It's not even up for debate by any standard metric rubric or ruler. The Phantom Menace is an all-time epic masterpiece. Right, not only groundbreaking special effects, but also... Jar Jar is the key. 
not only the all-time funniest character we've ever seen in Star Wars, but also one of the most insightful and articulate, so to speak. Jar Jar Binks represents the every person in the room. Jar Jar Binks is the first time we've ever seen a character as part of the main cast of the characters in the story. That's just a regular person. Just some random guy that they met on the street, so to speak, as part of the invasion process of Naboo by the Trade Federation, as we will see as we flesh out the story here of the Phantom Menace. But then, by random chance, it seems, this guy, Jar Jar Binks, and the Jedi meet up, and next thing you know, he's traveling the galaxy with the Jedi. Hilarious! Jar Jar Binks is truly the funniest character I've ever seen in any Star Wars episode or chapter. Now on to Anakin Skywalker, portrayed beautifully and expertly by Jake Lloyd, an all-time classic actor. I guarantee Jake Lloyd deserves an Oscar for Anakin Skywalker in The Phantom Menace. Yeah, look it up, starting with the opening title call to The Phantom Menace. And Jar Jar is the key. Nothing is wasted in this movie. Nothing is to be thrown away, and nothing is done in overboard fashion for the sake of shocking. But yes, I will say it is shocking to see these images in this fashion here as we've never seen them before in any Star Wars movie, let alone any movie. The Phantom Menace is an all-time epic classic masterpiece. Fantastic, beautiful story. Beautiful kid story, if you will. About a boy, 10-year-old boy, Anakin Skywalker. When we first meet Anakin, he's a slave on the planet of Tatooine, living with his mother, also a slave. And then through a series of events and choices, and including, as is Qui-Gon Jinn would say, according to the will of the Force, you, that's one way of looking at it, these events unravel the reality that we saw earlier, changing it into something completely different as they leave the planet of Tatooine with Anakin, a freed slave, but his mother remaining on the planet. Anakin is torn between the love for this quest to see the galaxies, the systems, the universe, so to speak, and the sadness he feels that leaving his mother remains a slave on Tatooine. And then, of course, we meet Padme Amidala, a.k.a. Queen Amidala, C-3PO and R2-D2, and of course, Obi-Wan Kenobi, the learner, the Padawan learner, the young Jedi Knight that is still a Padawan, and his teacher is Qui-Gon Jinn, and of course, Chancellor Palpatine, a.k.a. Darth Sidious, and of course, Boss Nass, He's the leader of the Gungans. And friends, that's all the time we have for today. Remember that the prequels is the best Star Wars, friends. Jar Jar is the key. And I am your host, Mr. The Prequels. May the Force be with us. And we'll see you next time.